Hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rigs. And we're at the Rohirrim Ranch, and today we're going to build Freddy right here, the mini horse, his own little house. Because the big northern storms are coming, so that's what we're gonna work on today. Let's have some fun. What do you think, Freddy? Yeah, I know. We're building you your new house. What do you think? Freddy's like, hmm, how exciting. He's been smelling everything. Yep, 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 yep. All the pieces. All right, so here's all the pieces to his new house. He's checking them out. We gotta put this thing together. It's like a mini stable. So he should be pretty, pretty cool. Hey, what do you think, Freddy? You excited? He's like, yeah, this is a, uh, you guys moving in with me? <laughs> Freddy! Whoop! Hello! <laughs> He's busy doing other stuff. Watching the world, I guess. Cool! Look at all this cool stuff. Okay! We're gonna build it, and then we'll do some uh, building for the video, and then I'll do some time lapse and some jumps. Because I don't, you know, it might take us an hour. So we'll see how long, how fast can we build this little mini barn. They have directions, so here we go. There we go, yes. <laughs> the directions, exactly. All right, so we're gonna do this and we'll get some time-lapse going. So we're gonna hop into when it's partially starting to be built here and then uh, I'll time-lapse some of it. I'll get some of it for you guys. So here we go, here we go. Hello, and if anyone that knows horses, if you see Lily back here pacing, it's not because we're building, it's because we took Freddy over there where my mom's walking him and she's upset that her friend was taken away, so. Yeah. She's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's just like, where did Freddy go? I want my mini horse back. <laughs> All right, but he's on it. He's having a nice time running in the pen over there. All right, so we're putting together the panels and um, we already might have done one backwards, but it's okay, the mistake's out of the way now. This is the very beginning, so everything will be great now. Perfect the whole time. We'll do some speed up here now for a little bit. That's pretty fast. Please go editing, Garrett. All right, why don't you just look adorable, Freddy, for a little bit? He's like, no, I'm not gonna look at the camera. <laughs> Trying to knock over the camera, I see. Good try, but I don't think so. Freddy. Good horse. He's a good horse. Good boy. Oh, you have your tool. Yeah, you
You want to start the roof panels? I'll get them finished. Oh, yeah, we have well, there's this thing on it, and then we can finish this. Okay. Um, we have to finish this then. You want to do the other side? Yeah. Okay, the big, well, here, this big one goes in the front. We're getting there. Now we gotta hook on the, um, you can see a horse on the other side of the barn there. It's getting better. Let's tell, now I've gotta connect on this piece down this side here. So we're running out of light, so we're going to go ahead and finish the rest tomorrow, so we'll have a part two in this video. And we're going to put these two roof panels on for safety and then do the rest tomorrow. See you. Ready. You have a bow. What do you think of the bow, Freddy? You think you want food from those bins? Hello! You have a bell! What do you think about that? You like it? <laughs> Good boy! Got my shelf! I can stand up in here. Where's Freddy's barn? It's 
still working on these back doors here. They're gonna cover that part. So when there's wind, he has a solid wall. Have to go get some hinges though. What do you think, Freddy? Goes up, here's a shelf. Some holes so that we can hang toys from it. He likes um, when we hang a bucket that has little holes and inside the bucket is grain, so when he bumps it, it drops grain really slowly, so it lasts a couple days before he gets through two cups of grain. That's the only actual floor. Helps with the stability of this big opening. And then we put a stall mat, which is a inch thick rubber mat that horses use. It's good for the hooves. And I feed him in here so that he doesn't eat the dust because they are supposed to eat off the ground. Their teeth are situa situated in their mouth in such a way that if their neck is not down to the ground when they eat, their teeth will grind wrong and they'll get teeth problems, which is why you don't usually feed a horse up in a feeder. Some people do because it looks fancy, but it's actually better for them to eat off the ground, but on a mat so that they don't pick up all the dust and rocks. Also might put wood or plexiglass on this side window just because the road's over there and it will block the noise a little for him. He doesn't really care about the noise, but it would be nice for him to have some quiet. Hi, Freddy. Okay, we're gonna take the wood cedar chips, put it in there, move his food to the side so he has a food spot, and then the rest we'll just fill with these cedar chips so it's more comfortable for him to sleep in or stand in at night. Also keep him dry and warm since it's winter. And then some people prefer pine. I do have some pine over there, but it's gonna go on the outside because he actually gets kind of itchy with pine um, and he does better with cedar. So the cedar's gonna go in his bed area. All right, so now it is full of the nice cedar chip. As soon as I put those in, he even stepped in a little further. He likes them. Oh, he's happy. Are you happy, Freddy? He says so yummy. All right, now we got all the shavings down. It's got nice, clean, warm bedding up here. And the high part, that's his runaround area. And then there's large, large arenas over there that he gets let out in. But this is a safe area. All right, so we have the barn all finished here. We put little doors on this side because the wind comes so that he can get out of the wind. And then we made this side much bigger. It originally was only half that, how the playhouse kit was. So we changed the design. So it's nice and easy for him to go in there. We also boarded up that back window. So he has two solid walls. So you can put his head there if it's really windy. We did leave cracks purposely. So the wind blows through and doesn't cause the whole thing just to blow over. We also have some cinder blocks helping holding it down. the front, this little bell. That's the side window that we boarded up. We put, we weather sealed the wood and then we put a tarp over it and we pinned the tarp with the trim. So there's a tarp all the way over the top. We left these open so the air can go through. Here's the inside. Got a little shelf over here, some little holes so we can hang little buckets and toys and treats when we come and leave them for him. There's that 
entrance you saw. He's over there enjoying his food. Freddy! Are you enjoying your food, Freddy? Good boy. So cute. And it's pretty tall. This is my head. I'm five foot four and I'm standing on six inches of shavings. So this is, I think, just under seven feet, the peak. And I can actually even stand over here, down there. That's 36 inches from the lower one. This one's 41 inches. He is 36 inches to his withers, and that's where you measure a horse. And this is his little friend Ant-Man. Hi Ant-Man! Who right now really wants his grain. <laughs> So that's it. All right guys, so here is the completed barn to kind of finish up this video. A few days later, it went through a storm. It did great. It looks nice. My um, sister engineered, she used actually the little door panels that were gonna be on the other side as kind of a window covering here. Instead of leaving it open, put some extra wood there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. As you can tell, I may be slightly allergic to hay. Um, but we have, she did a really good job though. She put these in her little fence panels and she put them as a kind of a wall there. And we, again, as you remember when we were deciding, we left this open. So it's perfect for him to go in there and go through. Um, they also finished putting the panels on the next day, um, right? and uh, put this nice cover uh, tarp on there to help the rain make sure it doesn't come in. And it survived the storm nicely and Freddy was nicely dry. There is also an extra cover above, but he likes to go out. So this is more a nice spot for him as a little mini horse here. And as we go in here, as you can see, they put a piece of wood on there to cover that opening. Yeah, it looks really nice. And it's nice and big for him, perfect. There's a little shelf right there. That we can put stuff on when we're working on them or little things. Also gave it more st stability, having that shelf so it doesn't rock back and forth at all. But yeah, it's very, very sturdy, as you can see if I kind of wiggle. Not much, nothing really happens. So it's nice and sturdy. Put a couple bricks so it wouldn't move around. And uh, then filled it with some stuff in there. It's just nice and connected in there. As you can see, this was a door on the front. We actually stuck it here. A small little gap, but it looks nice. Very nice. So that's about it. There's a little bit of a wide angle. Finish it up. But yeah, mission accomplished. It looks great. He's got his own little spot. And I bet his, his neighbor, maybe they'll make one for little Ant-Man. Maybe. His owner said, oh, maybe I'm gonna have to make him one now. <laughs> so that is it. So let me close the back so that no critters would try to bother him outside the fence here. Because there are critters around here besides horses. It's one of the reasons we have this fencing around the main fence so no little you know, coyotes or anything get in. Of course, Freddy would probably give him the old kick and it wouldn't be an issue, but still. There it is. All right, that's the finished work, my friends. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, of course, if you enjoyed. Again, this is, we do Tolkien on this channel, but uh, this is my Lutra life, so we helped with our mini horse, Freddy of Rohan. So the subscribe button's gonna show up here. Next episode up here for Let Your Life, Let Your Tail, or by invert, whatever. One of the sides here. Did you guys have a great and wonderful day in Middle Earth? And thanks to my subscribers. Thanks to uh, Scumly for his support. It means a lot, my friend. And, uh, ooh, loud truck. And I'll see you all in the next episodes of Voice of the Rings.